I'm here with Kelly Ferris. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, let's start. There, there's a little bit of internet buzz a week or so ago that you had something wrong with your knee. Somebody had seen you limping around campus. What's the story on that? It was just a tweak. Uh, we were kind of being over precautious since you know we're shorthanded this year a little bit. So I'm perfectly fine, good to go. Uh, just a little tweak. I'm good, though. So n no significant cartilage damage or something like that? No, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, good. Um, you've now had an injury to Caroline. Uh, where do you see yourself playing? What positions do you see yourself filling in for uh, this year? Um, I think it's, a, it's kind of a hard to, hard to tell this year with everybody, really, um, because... We're all just going to have to step up in different positions depending on the game, depending on who we're playing, uh, um, you know, who we're matched up with. I think this year we're all going to have to be a little bit more versatile and um, just kind of play it by ear, really. So it's kind of hard to say right now. Well, let me take you back to high school. Remind us where you went to high school. Uh, Heritage National High School. And that's in? It's right near Indianapolis, kind of that area. And what positions did you play in high school? About one through five. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, because you're, well, how tall are you? Uh, about 5'10". About 5'10". Because uh, in high school, I mean, there are, some girls play center in 5'10". I mean, it's, it's a lot different in high school. I bet probably almost everybody on this team probably played about at least three, two, three through five, so. But somewhere in high school or club ball, you learned how to run and pass the ball while running. Uh, what, what, where did you learn that skill? Um, I think I just kind of developed that one. I like to pass, so I was always, um, you know, just kind of how I was taught. But passing is kind of my, my thing that I like to do, and sometimes I get in trouble for passing too much. So we're working on that, though. Um, Staying back in high school, fans are interested in the recruiting process. Mm -hmm. When did you come to the, I mean, you're an upper class, or you're a sophomore now, yeah. but when did you come to the eye of UConn, do you think, when you were in high school? Um, honestly, I'm trying to think. It really wasn't until maybe junior year. It wasn't, I wasn't too early on their radar, I don't think. I mean, was this a surprise to you that UConn was interested in you? Yeah, honestly it was. It was a surprise. I never really knew, you know, what level I'd be able to go to. So it was just kind of the whole recruiting process was was fun. It was eye opening, um, and then it kind of got down to it. And it's real. It, it got stressful, but it was a good problem to have. Good issue. To well, have. well, at some point, you you get an offer communicated to you. Mm -hmm by the UConn coaching staff. How does that actually come? Does it come in person or by email or through your high school coach? or What's the vehicle of communication? Um, I mean, usually it was if, if you were on your visit type of thing and they wouldn't offer you, they'd let you know in person. So, I mean, but if that's not, like if you're not able to be here type of thing, I'm sure they would call. Well, I mean, in your case. How, oh, how my case, I was here. So I was here on a visit and they let me know that. The offer was there if I wanted it, type of thing. And so then you had a decision to make. What, what other schools were competing in your mind? Again, just fans are interested in this process, yeah. even though you're not a newcomer. I mean, what schools were competing in your mind with UConn at that point in time? Um, mainly by that time, it had mainly gotten down between either Connecticut or Notre Dame. So there was Purdue was in there, Florida State was in there. Um, but it got down to either Notre Dame or Connecticut. So. And what what flipped the switch in favor of Connecticut? Um, it was uh, Notre Dame's a great school, great school, great, uh, great team, great coaching staff. There was I have nothing to say against them. Um, it was kind of back and forth for a while. Would I want Notre Dame? It was closer to home. It was you know Connecticut was far. But then uh, I think the more I thought about it, I felt like this was just the better program for me. I felt like I fit in better with this type of program and how they run things here. Uh, I'm not saying anything bad about Notre Dame. I just felt I felt more comfortable here and I felt like um, the best would be brought out of me type of thing. Like I felt like I could be pushed to my you know to my limits here better. In your freshman year last year, you got quite a few minutes. Were you actually surprised the number of minutes you got? I mean, you're talking about a team that's won 78 consecutive games. I mean, this was tough competition to get a spot, and you were 
you got a lot of minutes. I mean, I definitely did not know what to expect coming in. I didn't know whether I get 15 minutes or two minutes or none. You know, I it was just kind of I was coming in with the mindset that I was going to work as hard as I possibly could, do whatever the coaches wanted me to do, and if they needed me, then uh, do my best to fulfill what they wanted me to do. Um, so I was I was surprised with how much the um, they depended on me and they uh, you know how much they trusted me and type of thing and if we're, you know, they let me get on the court so that was um, that was a pleasant surprise but after a while you, you know you can't really think about that too much because then it gets thinking too much about it it's just about playing basketball so. well are all you high school uh, you know good players con so confident I mean, do you ever like worry that like oh UConn will sit at the end of the bench for four years kind of a thing I mean uh, um, it didn't cross your mind I mean yeah I mean I, it, for me personally I, it did cross my mind because thinking you know Connecticut it's the number one team and you know whether or not you know, do I feel like I'm good enough that I'm going to be able to get minutes or should I go somewhere where I know I'll get minutes or, you know that kind of stuff it definitely I know for me I'll speak for myself on this one I, it definitely did cross my mind but then it's like do you want to go somewhere that's going to push you to you know strive for your best so you do get minutes and so that you are at your best that you possibly can be so um, I think if you want that then this is a really good program to come to. I think a lot of people would, uh, fans could, would conclude that you could probably play point guard pretty decently. However, you're going to have Hartley and Miss Dixon competing probably pretty ferociously for that spot. So it, it kind of looks like that you may have to spend a lot of time at the two and or three. Uh, have you been working on anything in particular to... Uh, improve your game uh. yeah I think uh, I think like I've been saying I think a lot of us are gonna have to step up in different areas that we're not used to um, whether it's point or whether it's two or three or four or any of that um, I think we're all gonna kind of be out of our comfort zone on that one just because we don't have we don't have the options that we had last year so we've definitely been working on different you know different positions and different places on the floor that we're not used to and um, you know, we're, we're working on it, so. <laughs> so we're getting there. And the streak, capital T, capital S. I mean, is this something that weighs on you psychologically, or is this just history and you just can't worry about it? Um, it's kind of, it's in the past type of thing. We we don't bring it up, we don't think about it. It's, it's nice to have it, but at the same time, that's not what we're about. We're not about coming here to break records. We're here to win games and get to the national championship game and win that. So... Um, that's not really something that we we think about ever, really. Finally, do you have a nickname that you admit to anyway, or? Uh, I do. Um, what is it? It's Omnu. Omnu. So, yeah. Now, what does that mean? Um, it actually started. It was like the one year anniversary of our national championship dinner because it started at our national championship dinner last year. Um, is when we had to kind of mingle with everybody and. I would introduce myself as, you know, hi, I'm Kelly, I'm new, because I was only a freshman. And so then a couple of the girls caught on to it and turned it into Omnu. Somehow, some weird Oh, so way. the girls call you Omnu. Yes. But no one in the real world calls you no. Omnu, do, do no. they? No. Oh, okay. No. That would be, no. <laughs> no. All right, thank you for your time, Kelly. Thank you, appreciate it.